Welcome to Shortview Trading. It's Monday 19th of June around 9 a.m. London time. Now, if you're a trader of equity index futures, you want to trade S&P 500 futures or NASDAQ 100 futures or similar European equity index futures, what factors should you be looking at? How should you be going about trading the market on that time frame and implementing those trades? That's what we're going to dig into in this video. So let's get stuck in. What has clearly been a really strong month in equity markets across the globe, led by the US. In fact, as you can see in the chart we're putting up in front of you now, a chart of month-to-date performances of various US equity indices. It's been pretty strong. The Nasdaq's been strong. Philly Sox is up there. But actually, some of the best performing sectors are outside of the tech long-duration growth areas. You can see the Dow Jones Transportation Average is the best performing of those indices that we're showing you. And also the small and mid-caps in the US have done well. So there's been a broadening of performance in the last few weeks as we've got into June. It's not just been about five, six, seven mega cap tech names. The market's broadened to include the mid small caps and indeed the cyclicals. In fact, if you look at this chart that breaks the S&P 500 down into its three key main areas, that is firstly tech long duration growth, secondly cyclicals, and thirdly the defensive areas, that's the the whole market broken into three, you can see that cyclicals have really started to pick up in the last few weeks and join tech in terms of that strength and driving the market higher. So there's been a broadening of US markets, very strong performance in June. Equally, if you look across in Europe, as you can see in the chart we're putting up in front of you now, month to date, couple of weeks and two and a half weeks into June. European equities also doing well with strong performances with Italy up over 6%, Germany and Spain both really doing quite well over the course of the month and pretty much all key country equity indices in Europe up meaningfully so far in June. So what do you do with this if you're a one to two week trader? Because June is normally pretty poor month on a seasonal basis. It's one of the few months of the year that on average over the last 20 plus years has been a negative month. Of course, that just goes to show how careful you have to be when using seasonality to trade markets on a month by month basis. But the point is, it's up a lot already in this month. So how do you go about trading it on a one to two week time frame from here? And that's where the models get really interesting and become critical in terms of how you think about these markets. Because our medium term models are increasingly starting to generate sell signals. Take for example, this sell off indicator that we're putting up in front of you now. This, this is a model designed to measure euphoric price action and excessive appetite for risk. And when it reaches plus 20, it generates a signal warning of a heightened risk of a pullback. In other words, it's quite likely there's a high probability of a significant pullback once it moves over plus 20. Now we're on plus 18 as of this morning, so we're pretty close. And if it's going to hit plus 20, it'll do it later this week. So this model is about probably to generate a signal warning of a major pullback. Other models got a similar message. So for example, if you look at the volume of single stock call options that we're putting up in front of you now, that's been surging in the past couple of weeks and is back generating a sell signal at a level consistent with the major local highs we had earlier this year in February and at the back end of last year. So another model that's somewhat euphoric signaling and consistent with what we're probably about to see on the sell-off indicator. And then if you look at a technical model, you look at the RSI, a technical model, the RSI, the equities versus the bond market on a medium term time frame. Equally, this is reaching high sell signal levels showing it's very overbought equities relative to bonds. Of course, bonds have been selling off in the last few weeks. Equities have been rallying hard. So the relative signal is quite extreme. So you add it all together, the models are starting to generate a, a pretty punchy signal. The sell-off indicator is not quite there yet, but a bunch of them are, are there or thereabouts. So to see how we're trading this market and what to do with all those signals, please see the, the daily rag, also known as the rag trader. If you're not a subscriber as of yet, please do take a free trial. Simply click on the link below and we'll send you the rag trader for a bunch of trading sessions for free so you can get a feel for it, see if you like it. All we need is your name and email address. No credit card details required at this stage. Um, if you want to subscribe, of course, we'll then need them then. So what are we watching this week? Well, there's a bunch of stuff going on, three key themes in particular. Firstly, we've got Fed Chair Jerome Powell up on the Hill giving his semi-annual testimony in front of Congress 
initially in the House Financial Services Committee on Wednesday, then the Senate Banking Committee on Thursday. This is the old Humphrey Hawkins testimony where he talks about monetary policy in front of the congressmen and the senators. So that's Wednesday, Thursday. Secondly, we've got a, some central bank meetings. We've got the PBOC out of China on Tuesday. There's been much chatter about them cutting the policy rates over the last few weeks. The data's been weak in China, so that'll be watched closely. We've also got the Bank of England on Thursday, where they're expected to raise rates again, and inflation seems out of control in the UK, and Bank of England are pretty worried about that. Then the third final theme is a bunch of macro data from across the globe. We've got a housing theme in the US with the NAHB Home Builders Index, starts and permits, and one or two other housing data points. We've also got uh, the flash PMIs for the service sector and manufacturing sector across the globe at the back end of this week. And then other things like the conference board, leading economic indicators and UK inflation, all of which will be watched closely. So that's it from us. That's your morning market here for Monday, 19th of June. Thank you for listening. Please do subscribe on YouTube. Simply click on the subscribe button or follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter and or Facebook. Thank you for listening. Stay safe, trade well.